right so we're trying to connect our domains to basically the domain uh, to 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 Linode um, our domain is purchased from here which is uh, VE host right it was 65 bucks a month right very cheap um, well let's not say cheap I mean it's, it's, it's relatively expensive so here we are right we're looking at um, the, the 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 name service um, usually you're gonna have two um, and then we're looking at uh, Cloudflare so what our diagram if we had a diagram it would be something like um, client area VE host right um, links the domain to 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 Cloudflare uh, which is going to help us manage the domain uh, and also manage the SSL certificate because as you can see there is no SSL for this domain actually um, I'll show you a bit later but uh, this actually will help us to manage the domain add fire firewalls and um, yeah there's quite a lot of great features to this so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an error a record and as you can see we have uh, name service ns1 and right um, so we're gonna go for www and we're gonna take the IP address of this so what we're going to do instead of what we did there um, let's just grab the overview right uh, and then edit our name service uh, they're okay um i think the best way is to actually just take custom name service from here and then port them over to 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 to, to this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take uh name service from uh where do i get my name service uh, here we go so it automatically found our NS1 BE name service. I think uh, they did a who is um, registrar search for that. And what we're going to do is we're going to replace these name servers with our own name service, uh, which is going to be the first one, Aiden NS Cloudflare. And then we're going to come to the second one, um, May, right? So we're going to change the name service. Uh, there's another way to do this, but it's slightly more complicated. So now that we have saved this, uh, we're going to go ahead and check name service to see if it has propagated. It may take a few hours for an update, um, just to warn you. However, um, we're not going to wait for that what we're going to do is obviously it's 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 already started working i'm sure you know we already propagated somewhere now we're going to look at uh ubuntu this is my linode um uh, 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 cluster right um we are going to create this is my virtual server that i created on linode uh, this is the IP address and, and it's, it's Ubuntu and what I was able to do I was able to SSH let me just quit here and then let me just clear um, what I was able to do CD CC, right let's just uh, leave that and uh, CD CC um, CD and you see right so in the case that that we that we want to 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 ssh as root i'm already logged in as root here um via ssh of course you know uh you're going to get that connection uh fingerprint thing going on and then you're going to say yes and then you're going to enter your uh vps password um the ssh password that you created um 
to be root user um, and then once we have it then we are logged in as root so um, what we're going to do now is we are going to uh, obviously I have I have lamp installed over here so I'm not gonna go through installation of lamp I'm just going to go ahead and go into my etc um, slash Apache 2 uh, and then I'm going to list everything and then obviously what we're going to do is we're looking to go into the sites available right uh, so we're going to say sites available right S CD sites available CD sites available and then we're going to say ls and obviously we're going to find there's three files in there uh, I'm going to say sudo nano um, triple zero dash um, default dot conf right um, you can vim into it uh, you can sudo nano into it uh, however you do it um, so we have our virtual host file here and uh, as you can see everything is the default um, what we're going to do now um, because we want our 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 server to be linked to uh, remember we link the domain to Cloudflare we want also our server to be linked to Cloudflare and to the to 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 the domain so what we're going to do is we're going to come to our dns um configuration again and then we're going to create a couple of records um i believe we're going to go for a record um and yeah we're going to create an A record uh, and the name will be uh, gosh let's just say www um, WC name uh -uh. must be an A record for sure because we're looking for the IP address of the server and then we are going to say uh, there we go and we are so yeah that's how we implement it via Linode this is the IP address for us right now and um, I believe it's 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 root we're just gonna say it's root for gaolo.co.za right we could type it um, from scratch or we could also create an alias for it which I think we should do um, we should create another a record which is for the alias um, however let's just go ahead and let this propagate whilst it's propagating what we're able to do now is come to our v host because we have our IP address propagating to the this DNS uh, to, 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 to Cloudflare what we can do is we can say server name uh, which will be um, www dot actually let's not go with www because our server name here doesn't have uh, the www um, we could just say uh, gaula group zera and that will be perfectly fine um, in the case that we do create an alias let's go ahead and say server uh, alias and then here we can definitely say www.gaolagroup.co.za right um, I think that's perfect 
and then here this is for your email domains and all of that stuff which is what we are we're not really interested in that for now so I'm going to comment this out yeah so I think that's it I keep, I keep trying to save I believe that's it for our uh, virtual host and we're going to say control X and we save the changes and yes we want to write to that file and now that we have written to that file um, if the domain has properly propagated um, we are going to have to figure out if we have an SSL certificate for sure um, so I'm going to enable an SSL certificate for now and um, let me see um, so we do have encryption we do certainly have SSL encryption for for this particular domain so no request in the last 24 hours of course let's just try to make a request uh, gaolo uh, group dot co dot za right um, if it has properly oh there we go we are propagated um, although although the SSL certificate is not yet showing um, which I believe it's just something to do with uh, let me just try and uh, let me just see if I can uh, enable the SSL for, for, for now um, so it has to be HTTPS um, and then let me go into incognito mode because sometimes you can cache everything um, new incognito window and gala group. All right, look, we, we've done, I think, pretty much most of what we need to do. Uh, the SSL certificate, we could figure that out a little bit later. But uh, thank you for watching. Um, do uh, do play around with it. Um, but this is actually just how you you, you link your domain to um, to 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 uh, uh, Cloudflare and also with your domain registrar. Um, also, again, with your VPS, which are all uh, working with different companies and so on. So, uh, if you find this inter interesting, you can hit like. Uh, don't really care about likes, but. Thank you for watching, man. Awesome.